going to be your weekly reading, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the first card that you have is the Ten of Swords. And I am going to say that you have a lot of Swords energy in this reading. Um, so what I am getting is that you have been really mentally conflicted. And basically the energy that I'm getting is that you have really been fighting your ego. Um, your ego really has been trying to keep you all tied up in your head and really concerned with the future and concerned with physical things right now. Um, the things that you're seeing are all things that you are creating in your mind. These are your fears playing out. Your ego is really playing tricks on you. <laughs> and that is the energy that I'm getting with this card right here. Um, because to clarify that, we have the angel of strength. And your angels want to let you know that they are there with you um, all the time. And that they really are guiding you. It's just you really have to go deep and really tap into your intuition. And this is how you feel, okay? So make sure you're not trying to think your way through things. Because when we try to think our way through things, we're actually manifesting and creating our reality with our thoughts, okay? So what you need to do is you really need to, it's like harnessing your own power is the message that I'm getting with this. And how you do that is that you really go within and you also call back all of the power that you've given to other people. Because a lot of times we give our power away. You know, even if it's something as simple as getting upset with the clerk at the store, you give your power away. Because nobody can make us feel any kind of way. All right? So make sure that you're not blaming others for your emotions, for your feelings, and mostly for your feelings behind your thoughts. That message came up. We have thoughts that come up. And it's our belief in those thoughts that create emotions. And it's up to us to clear those. And it's up to us not to believe our fears and not to believe our negative thoughts. Because when we do this, we are responsible. So make sure you're not projecting this out onto other people. Call back your power. We have the wisdom card. And once again, this is about really going within and really tapping into your higher self and your very own ancient wisdom, the ancient wisdom of your soul. Each soul has a unique um, blueprint, vibrational blueprint, and within that soul contains all of the wisdom and all of the knowledge that you have carried with you as a soul throughout all of the different timelines, okay? So make sure that you are tapping into this because only your higher self has the wisdom that you need to continue on the journey that you're on right now, okay? This is going to be more of a spiritually based reading. I can tell already the direction that it's going. I'm gonna try to um, anchor it into the physical realm though, if you can follow along with me. But this reading, I can tell already, is going to be very deep. So really make sure whatever wisdom that you are seeking, that you are getting it from within, okay? And this means not seeking any external forces or sources for any of your, your wisdom, any of your, um, your strength. That has came through too. Make sure you're getting your own power and your own wisdom. Because to clarify that wisdom card, we have the chalice, we have the fulfillment card. And the message, as soon as I pulled this card, I automatically knew that this meant to fulfill your own cup. Okay? So do not seek outward sources for anything. Make sure that you yourself are tapping into your own energy and that you're fulfilling your own cup with love and knowledge and wisdom and strength. Those messages came through loud and clear. Once again, we've got another sword card. We've got the princess cards, princess of swords card. And there's a lot of swords energy in this. 
So basically what I'm getting out of this is that you are creating your very own reality out of fears, out of this mental space that you're in, okay? That is the reason why it's so important to be very mindful of your thoughts. Make sure you know um, what you're focused on. And do not focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. And people, this sounds so easy, okay? When I say focus on what you want, and you know, a lot of times people will say, well, I'm doing that. Are you really? I mean, really think about it. Because I know sometimes, and I have given this analogy twice in my readings today, if I am really, really focused on making money, okay? Let's say I have a bill I'm working on. I'm trying to make the money for this bill. But then I tell myself, you know what? You know, I work in sales. So I'm like, you know what? You know, it's the second week of the month. The second week of the month is typically pretty slow for me. So more than likely I won't make it. You know, maybe I should try to go ahead and reach out and make payment arrangements on the, on the bill. Well, see, I'm already focused on what I don't want. Okay? I'm not focused on what I do want. So what do you think I'm going to manifest? I'm going to manifest what I don't want. So be very, very clear. And when you're in your mind, you are manifesting all the time. So be very, very aware of this. And the other message that's coming through is spend more time meditating. Okay, really unwind. And when I say contemplate, this does not mean sit and think. A lot of times we will sit and think and think and think. And what we're doing is we are creating in our minds all kinds of realities. To clarify that, we have homeland, we have foundation. So once again, the message that I'm getting with this foundation and this homeland is that it all starts with you. Okay, so you need to build a solid foundation. And this means you need to be in a really, really good place. When you can actually be alone and not feel lonely and not need or want anyone outside of yourself that is when you will bring to you that's when you will attract to you and magnetize to you all the things that you desire i saw a, a post on facebook this morning and it said something about um a woman who needs nothing and needs nobody is very powerful Okay, and that goes along with a man too, because that is when you can attract things to you, when you are not in a place of lack or scarcity, because when you're really, really focused on what you don't have, you're coming from a place of lack or scarcity. Focus on what you do have. That message came through. Now we have the five of swords. And once again, this is a very defense, this actually, it's not even defensive. It looks like an offensive card. And the message that I'm getting with this is that it's almost like you're always expecting something bad to happen. You're almost expecting people to not treat you well. And the message that I'm getting with this card is victim mentality. Really release that, okay? Because otherwise you're going to keep attracting that particular situation into your life because lessons will repeat themselves until learned and every time it gets harder. So do make sure that you are clearing any type of victim mentality. Tell yourself every day that the universe has your back, the universe is an abundant place, that people generally treat you well, that life is fair. You know, tell yourself these things every day to really impress upon your subconscious. And once again, to clarify that card, we have the Book of Knowledge. So this goes along with that Wisdom card. And basically, and see, here's the key. And that is all locked inside of you. And the other message that's coming through is to really, really go within and do some soul searching. And really unlock whatever is behind this door right here that is inside this book. And the message that I'm getting is that there are some things locked away in your shadow side that you need to shine light on. And how do you do that? You bring them out into the open and you really deal with them. Because a lot of times we will chase and we will pursue other people to avoid looking at ourselves. 
and there are things locked away inside. And the other message that's coming through is to love yourself unconditionally. And how do you love yourself unconditionally? You accept all of the parts of yourself. You totally accept the dark side, the light side, anything that's hidden inside of here, accept it and don't resist it and then watch it change. Only then can you have change when you have really shined the light on things and you have accepted them and stopped resisting them. You have the world card and this here is a very, very positive card. When you get the world card, this is letting you know you're going to have a positive outcome. But the other message that I'm getting with this is to kind of step outside of your world. Really look outside of the box and really expand your knowledge and your wisdom and your perspective and not be closed-minded. Really open up to the whole world around you and see things in a different way. That message came through too. Um, it's, it's like you've been doing things the same way over and over again. You're very set in your ways and you need to really think outside of the box and really learn about other cultures. Just become more cultured and more accepting of views that are not your own. That message has came through for you before Libra. We have the fox. And the fox is very cunning and very sly. And a lot of times things aren't what you, what they seem to be. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes than you realize. And basically what I'm getting with this card is a closed-minded view. You're really not seeing the full picture. It's like, it's almost like a bias. And you really need to open your eyes and, like I said, and experience the whole world and not just your viewpoint. And that is how you will gain more wisdom and more knowledge. And that's how you will get the strength and fulfillment and work on your foundation. And it's really interesting, too, that we have a couple of maps. I noticed that, too. You could be getting ready to travel or someone's getting ready to come towards you. It's just interesting. I just noticed there was two maps and that could indicate travel. You have the Four of Swords and basically this is the left to die card. This is just feeling abandoned, feeling betrayed. Really, um, this goes along with that victim mentality, really feeling like people just generally do not treat you well. It's kind of um, like expecting the worst of people. So really, Spirit is asking you, once again, to really let go of that viewpoint. Expand your knowledge, expand your wisdom. Realize there's more going on than meets the eye. And really think and look outside of the world that you've been living in. And really do not fear change. That, that message is coming through too. As long as you're fearing change, you're going to stay stagnant. And the soul wants to constantly grow and evolve. And it can't do that if you're stagnant, if you're stuck in the same energy. So definitely change your perspective. To clarify that card, we have my vibes speak louder than my words. So be very, very careful of what kind of vibes you're sending out. Because you may think that you've set your intention and that you're energetically aligned to what it is you're trying to manifest, but your vibes speak louder than your words. So all day long, you can say you want this or that or whatever else, and that is what you're working on aligning to but your vibes are screaming something else. And this is really blocking you right now. So be very, very wary of that. And check your energy daily. Poverty. And this is not um, you actually being impoverished. This is you seeing yourself impoverished. This is you being in that lack mentality, that scarcity really focusing on what you don't have instead of what you do have. 
And every time you do that, you're going to get more of it. So you yourself are responsible for this. Okay? So do not play the victim role and feel like other people are causing you to have, you know, I don't really believe in luck, but like bad luck or bad situations. This is you really being in the energy of feeling like you don't have what you want. Now, when you're in that energy of feeling like you don't have what you want and you're speaking about it and talking about the fact that you don't have what you want and you can do this through saying you miss something or you miss someone or you want someone or you desire someone whenever you do that it's to acknowledge that you don't have it you do have it you already have it you just need to align to it that energy came through privileged lady this is all about this is you feeling like you don't have the privileges that others have. You feel like, once again, you are lacking something. You're looking at others like, why can't I have what they have? But it all starts with you. You need to move out of this energy because as long as you are feeling this way, you will never have what it is that you're trying to manifest. So you need to get into this privileged lady energy or privileged man, wealthy man, we have a wealthy man card, and realize that the universe is an abundant place and there is enough for you. You are never in lack or scarcity. You always have everything that you need and want. And understand this too, whatever it is that is for you will come to you effortlessly. Okay, and whatever is not for you will just drop off on its own accord and something better will come in its place. So just remember that and be in a place of faith. Change. Once again, this is you fearing change. And as long as you're fearing change, you're going to stay stagnant. So you need to really be open to things maybe coming in a different way than you expected them to. Release your expectations. What it is that you desire can come to you in a different way than you ever dreamed possible. In a better way than you ever dreamed possible. But as long as you have expectations and you're controlling this, trying to control the situation, because control is an illusion, and you're really trying to see it happen in a certain way, it's almost like you're sitting back like, okay, how is this going to come to me? How is the universe going to do this? Well, you're blocking the universe from bringing your blessings in because you see it happening only a certain way. So really open yourself up, okay? And really get out of your own way and stop trying to question the process and just have faith and just know that what is seek what you are seeking is seeking you also. So definitely um, hold on to that and definitely check your vibes daily and make sure that the that what you're aligning to is what you truly are really trying to manifest. Sorry, I had trouble with that card. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put in the description of the video my contact information. If you would like a personal reading, they're $40. And you can pay through Cash App or PayPal. And I will include that information. But this is your weekly reading, Libra.